All right, Coach, you guys, uh, your season's you know right around the corner. How exciting is it to get it going again? Yeah, de definitely really exciting. The guys been working hard uh, this past week. Um, I think we uh, been doing a lot of practice matches here. We have great weather um, and pushing them hard in all aspects. So I think the guys are itching to get out there and get this uh, first match underway with. Uh, last year, you know, the team was so close to a WAC championship. Uh, how do they use that as motiv motivation for this coming season? Yeah, you know, definitely came close last year. Um, you know, th those losses, you know, looking back on them, they can be used for good uh, you know, as a motivation factor. I know a few of the guys that you've spoken about this year as far as really getting the freshmen on board. Uh, you know, that, you know, the conference tournament's a big deal and the, the regular season's a big deal as well. And so um, I think those guys that were on the team last year really know and uh, took it to heart and uh, been pushing really hard to uh, you know, try their best to make sure if we're putting that situation again, uh, the outcome is a little bit different this, this go around. You have four returners uh, led by Juan, the, the reigning WAC player of the year. Uh, how does he lead by example for this team? Yeah, Juan's done a great job coming back. Uh, he was working hard back home in Argentina, came back, and uh, I think you know it might have just been the time away, but uh, you know, it looks like he's striking the ball even better than when he left. Um, you know, we've been, like I said, we've been pushing the guys hard in conditioning aspects and he really leading the charge. I uh, was like, even doing some extra yesterday as well. So, uh, you know, he, he kind of leads, uh, he's, he's a quiet leader in a sense. Uh, don't get me wrong, out on court, uh, he's, he's a fierce competitor as well and really fires the other guys up, you know, uh, one through six all the way through. Last year he teamed up with Kobe in doubles. Uh, I think they were ranked 75th at one point of the season. Uh, how much better can they become as a team? Yeah, uh, you know, interesting thing is a lot, a lot of these guys that came in in uh, you know this semester with freshmen, we got a lot of good doubles combinations. So the interest, you know, they might they might not be playing together. Who knows? Um, we were trying to different combinations out now. There's a few things that uh, co assistant coach Quijada and I are really surprised by. So you know. Kobe and Juan are a good team. Uh, if they were to be playing together, they'd get a lot of opportunities this year. We were playing a couple uh, or you know, five or six nationally ranked teams right out of the gate. And uh, <clears throat> you know, they're going to get a lot of opportunities to prove themselves and uh, you know, break back into the national ranking. So I'm excited for it. Uh, the other two returners in Elliott and Ethan, uh, how big is their play this year and how vital is it to the, the success of the team? Yeah, we you know we got to be strong all the way through. Uh, you know, Kobe and Juan, you know, they had a really successful season last year. And you know, I've sat down with Ethan and Elliot and said, "Look, guys, you know, um, you guys are going to be playing a huge role this year. We, you guys, got to you know really step it up on all gears." And they're doing a great job. You know, Ethan looks great. Elliot looks great coming back as well. I'm really proud of the, them coming back in shape, and um, they're going to be. I expect big things from them this semester. You have uh, four newcomers as well. Uh, you've had one semester with them. How have you seen them uh, develop over the last six months? Yeah, I'm really excited about the freshmen. Uh, the couple guys we came in have a lot of character. Uh, they bought right into the team culture. Uh, they're probably some of the hardest working guys we got. Uh, you know, so I think right away um, you're gonna we're gonna see an impact on the this, this starting lineup with a handful of those guys. Um, as well as in, in, in the doubles lineup as well. So uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what they bring to the table. Uh, you know, as of right now, I really can't say, you know, uh, which, which guys I feel like are going to be in the lineup right now because everyone's kind of neck and neck. So uh, I think it's a good thing in just speaking that we have a lot of depth. And it's going to, I have a hard choice to make this coming Wednesday. And, uh, but I don't think it's a bad situation to be in. And finally, what are your expectations for the season and what, what, what are the keys for, uh, for it to be a successful one? Yeah, you know, in, in talking about expectations, we, you know, I sit down with the guys a lot and, uh, you know, talk about, you know, short-term goals, long-term goals. But what we really hit on is uh, uh, process goals. And that's, you know, you have a goal in the long term, but if you're doing the right things day in, day out, uh, whether it be being in the weight room more, being out here hitting an extra, you know, carton full of balls, um, or coming out working on your serve when nobody's here. Th those are the things that are going to make the big difference in the long run. And th those are essentially our process goals. Are, are you doing everything on a day-to-day -day basis to, you know, re obtain your goal? And if you're doing everything right, you know, in the classroom, on court, uh, those those goals that you have, they're going to come. 
And uh, I, so I think I try to stress to my guys that we need to be focused on the day to day and really not uh, what's four months down the line and things that are really out of our control. We need to focus on really things that uh, we have a lot of control of. Um, and so I think the guys are really starting to understand that. And uh, I, you know, I told them like, look, good thing, good things will happen if you handle, you know, the day to day. And one other thing, you have a new motto this year. It's uh, mind, heart, guts. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, um, <clears throat> you know, in coming back in the, uh, you know, the spring semester, just wanted to hit something, you know, with the guys, and uh, the guys, the guys were you know, pretty pumped about it. We got them little live strong bracelets for it, but. Uh, yeah, just, just three things that they can, uh, you know, kind of always fall back on. Um, if they're put in a tough situation, you got to be thinking with your mind. You got to be playing with your heart. Sometimes you got to take a shot and go for it, and that's where the guts come into play.